All right, guys, what this video that I'm showing you right now is about is my own transformation this year, my own life transformation, pretty much. And it all started with a decision to get into shape, to stop making excuses for myself, and to want to be that person that when I looked in the mirror, I could be proud of. You know, last year I got in the best shape of my life. I felt the best I'd ever felt. My motivation levels were through the roof. And then I did some I did a fucking stupid bodybuilding competition and as soon as that was over, you know, I lost it. I let myself go. I somehow hung on to a string of motivation and other aspects of my life. But for the most part, I gave up on all my training stuff. You know, I let myself go. I let myself get out of shape. Like I said, luckily, I hung on to, you know, my motivation for my business. I managed to, to hang in there with that. But for the most part, you know, I, I wasn't that person that I wanted to be. You know, I was, when I looked in the mirror, I was a, a failure. I let myself go completely. And when I didn't do the show, I, I aimed for another bodybuilding show over in Australia at the start of this year. When I failed to get ready in time for that show... I felt like a complete failure. You know, this is I'm gonna this is gonna be some real talk right now. You know, I jumped on six weeks out from that show I jumped on some some steroids. I jumped on some test prop, two hundred and fifty MG a week. And you know, basically because I was worried. Everyone everyone had gotten into my head, you know, lots of people were encouraging me to do it because they're doing it and that's how they they do it lots of people got into my head and they you know just enforced that yeah I needed to hang on to all my muscle for that show I ended up taking this shit got bloated as fuck felt like I wasn't going to be ready in time for the show fucked up my whole prep you know I binged I was like you know fuck this afterwards two weeks out three weeks out I can't remember what it was from the show I decided I wasn't going to do it so I went to fucking KFC twice a day, McDonald's. I fucking binged. I blew up. I stayed on the stuff because, you know, I was getting gains. Even though my face was out here. And I put on a lot of weight. I got up to 95 kgs. I'd never been like that before. I felt like I was huge and I was big in a t-shirt. Um, but, you know, once my abs were gone and they went pretty quickly, I... You know, I was left as a, basically a, a fat, out of shape person. And I jumped off the stuff after six weeks taking it. I lost all my motivation. I felt like a failure because I hadn't been ready for that show. And then I shrunk. Yet that body fat that I put on from eating all that shit still stayed on me. I was no longer 95 kgs. I was 85 kgs within, you know, a month. Because I'd stopped training because I'd lost the motivation. I was eating shit. Coming into the NZ Fitness Expo this year, you know, I, I had aspirations to be in really good shape. But I just, I could never get, get the wheels running again. I could never do it. You know, that, that stuff made me, I felt like shit coming off that. And it fucking ruined me. And then I, I, I really, I fell into a dark patch, you know, this year. And... It wasn't until, you know, one day I looked in the mirror and I said, fuck, man, what's happened to you? You're just living off your fucking, off your, you know, the shadow of what you used to be. Posting old videos of you, old pictures of yourself. What are you doing? And that's when I decided, you know, I said, <laughs> it hit me. I, I needed a goal. I needed, I needed that, like, a mo something to motivate me. And that's what I did, you know. I took it upon myself. I was like, you know what, fuck. I am out of shape and I'm, you know, I've tried to get back into shape over these past few months, but I'm not sticking to it. Maybe I'm not motivated enough. So that was the first step. I identified that that was the problem and that it needed a solution. You know, so I got together with Joseph Rakic and Brian Choi and I said, listen here, motherfuckers, in 10 weeks we're doing a fucking a video shoot. It's going to be huge. We're going to do it for YouTube. And we're going to get in the best shape of our lives. And that's what we did. We, we gave ourselves 10 weeks. 
you know, I shredded for eight. I said, I'm going to do eight weeks of this. I'm going to get as many, you know, I'm going to try to get some people on board with me because I know that that's what people need. There's, you know, 99% of the population are not self-motivated people. 99% of the population, they work for for other people. They, you know, they live their lives on other people's schedules. I don't want to be like that. And I know there's a fuckload of you guys out there that don't want to be like that too. So, you know, that's why I encourage you guys to take on board what I'm saying and, you know, get behind me and you know, learn as with me as I learn these things. Because, you know, life's not a fucking... It's not something you want to play around with and and not think about. And it's not something you want to go with the crowd on, you know, with all the time because you're going to end up in 20 years saying, why the fuck did I just follow everyone else? Why did I base my own personality and my own actions according to what everyone else was doing? Why did I do that? Now here I am, dying like everyone else. Life sucks. All because I fucking, I didn't, I didn't, Think smartly about things and, you know, maybe question for once that, shit, we're all just sheep just going to the fucking slaughterhouse, you know? Fuck that. Be a wolf. Life's too short to f fucking be a sheep, man. Whew. This life shit is, it's, you know, it can be, it can be great or it can be fucking shit. It's up to you to decide that you know that you you need change. You know that you want to change something about yourself. You know, and it fucking it can start with any aspect of your life. You just fucking pick something and you stick with that. You just need something. You need a must. You need something that's gonna, you know, you must get out of bed in the morning for this shit. Because what's the point of even living if you're not doing that? That's what I said to myself. You know, I must get in the best shape of my life again. And that's what I fucking did. We made this fucking epic video. And I'm fucking, you know, when you see results like that in yourself, you know, you, you believe, you realize firsthand that you can achieve whatever you set out to. No matter what people say. And even when you do achieve that shit, you realize fucking people are going to start talking more shit about you because, you know, they've seen what you've come from. You've come from the exact same if not similar position as them, you've gotten this much ahead of them. And they don't like that, you know? Your success is going to make other people feel shit about themselves. And if it does, fuck those people. Why should you give a shit about them? What you should give a shit about is the people that you're inspiring with your success. And that's what happens to me. You know, I get all these fucking keyboard warriors on Facebook, all this, having a laugh. It doesn't faze me because... I get messages from people who I've changed their lives and I'm inspiring them. You know, that's what I fucking, that's who I do it for. I couldn't give a fuck about no keyboard warriors, you know. I have never, not once, had someone come up to my face and say anything. And God save that motherfucker on the day it happens. You know, people, it's so easy to, you know, be the funny guy the, and go diss everyone on Facebook, go write witty comments, try to bring others down. But realistically... <laughs> like, let's come to real life for a second. Let's look at this guy over here. What the fuck is he doing? What a fucking loser. Who does that shit? Do you want to be that guy? No, no one wants to be that guy. Does that guy want to be that guy? Fuck no. He probably wants to be the guy that he's typing shit about. Because he's fucking jealous. His life sucks. You know, life is so funny. It's, it's full of... It's just an interesting journey. And like I said, it can be as good as you want it to be, or it can be as shit as you want it to be. It's up to you to decide to find your must, something that's going to you know, get you up in the morning, is going to keep you motivated. Because at the end of the day, everyone wants to be happy. Everyone wants fulfillment. And everyone's going to get it through different things. You know, Some people get it from going to the gym. Some people get it from building a, you know, building a great physique. Some people get it from building a business. Other people get it from typing shit on Facebook and getting some likes on their comment. You know, however you get it, whatever. It's cool, everyone's different. I'm saying don't be that fucking loser that does that though. 
if that's your your source of fulfillment, then that's just fucking sad. You know, there's too much negative shit in this world. Anyway, why would you want to feed into that? Life's about being positive and uplifting people around you. You know, there, if, there's room for everyone to be happy. Yet, yeah, it's the people that, you know, feel when someone else does better than them and it makes them realize that, you know, they're actually doing fuck all with their lives. Those are the people that get bitter and sour and make this world worse. So fuck that shit. That's what I'm saying. This is my video to you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's my eight week shred transformation. Hope it can inspire a few of you guys because looking back on it, it certainly inspired the shit out of me. And I'm getting it. Who's with me? We're getting it, motherfuckers. Just don't take it for, for an answer. I mean, I think if you, you know, if you believe in what you're doing, um, you know, many people will tell you. Um, you know what, why you're mistaken, why it'll never work. Um, you know, but if you really believe passionately in what you're doing, just just um, uh, you know keep going. You know, keep keep pushing on, keep pushing on, and and, and then if it, if you don't succeed, pick yourself up and uh, and you know try again. And, and and ultimately, you know, if you you know if you're that determined, you will succeed in life. This is a major opportunity. This is a major lifetime event for you. In all of the years that I've been doing this, only one person has quit. Quit. Left. I've been amazed that there's only been one person because some people and sometimes you really suffer. It's very tough. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing and it's totally true and the reason is uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're gonna give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society, and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that are successful loved what they did so they could persevere. When, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it, quit. Because they're sane, right? Who would want to put up with this stuff if you don't love it? So it's a lot of hard work and, and it's a lot of worrying constantly. And uh, um, if you don't love it, you're gonna fail. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's gonna be, who you're gonna be, how you're gonna do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. Because it's only about 1% of people have the ability to really take risks, entrepreneurial risks. 99% of the population can work for a business once it's established. Only 1% have the courage and the ability to actually make the entrepreneurial breakthroughs that create those jobs. Somebody said to me, what did you learn from your father? And what I learned from my father is that work can make you happy really can make you happy but you have to love what you do you're meeting your must my friends maybe it's time to change your must some people's must is to survive some people's must is to be okay some people's must is to have freedom some people's must is to have more than they could possibly spend some people's must is to take care of everybody around them whatever your must is you're going to get it think how your life would be different if you raised the standard of what you expected from yourself not your people yourself to that level how things could shift. It's all about changing your shoulds to must. It's all about going back and saying, this is how it's gonna be. the most 
is going to be the guy that just gets that loose ball. I'm sanctified!